synthesis. Uh, you, guys, you guys are experts now. It won't be that difficult, but uh, you'll have a few reactions where I give you, you know, the starting material. Some will be like this, and these are more difficult. Uh, I give you the product we wish to make, and the starting material, I mean, the, the uh, reagent that we're going to use, and you tell me the starting material. Okay. Here's what helps to count the carbons in the product and the reagents, so you can kind of figure out how many carbons your starting material has to have. Okay, so you'll see some of these, these are a bit more challenging. You can try to figure out what you start with. I want to make the compound on the right. That's my reagent we use and what do I start with? So there'll be some of those. And then there'll be some uh, where I give you the starter material and what I have available when I want to make and how do I go from the starter material to what I want to make. And when you see those questions, there'll be a list of uh, reagents to choose from. Okay. Some of them will be done in a single step, like this one, and then some of them you need two steps. But not that one will be on two steps. So it'll be single steps like this or two step processes. And uh, I have a list of reagents. Some of those reagents you won't use at all. Some will you, you'll use more than once. Okay? And some you use once. So you know, just there's just a list there. You don't think you don't have to use every single one. And you might use some more than once. Okay, and that's pretty much it. You know, naming, the mechanism. Uh, acid strains, it's chapters on chromosomic acids, uh, and then uh, extraction, you know, separate an acid from a base using the, the extraction techniques, and then reactions, 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 you know, inside and out, you know, uh, one of three ways. You'll see all three ways. I'll give you starter material, reagent, you give me the product. I'll give you the product, the reagent we have available, you tell me what you start with, and then finally, um, I'll give you the starter material product and you pick the reagent needed to convert from the starting material to the product. And, um, you know, it's not a real long test. I don't, I don't think it'd be, it's, a, it's just a unit test. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else in that test. I, mean, uh, I think that was it. You said you were going to have these new? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was two new reactions. Yeah, there were three new reactions. So, uh, make sure there will be two of them. Two out of three. Two out of three of those reactions in that handout, you'll, you'll see uh, they're almost almost identical to what you hand out. So if you can understand the handout example, you should have no problem. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel on you. Uh, notice those are all um, two-step problems. So it's that handout I gave you. You got to first add a base generate the nucleophile, and then in the second step, the nucleophile reacts with something else to give you a product. Okay, so those will be two steppers. For that one, I'm going to give you, for the handout, I'm going to give you the starting material and the reagents, and then you give me the products. Similar to the third reaction on the handout. And 
these they call these reactions condensation reactions sometimes because you got two two organic molecules you condense it into a larger organic molecule. And sometimes a small piece breaks off when you do that. In this case you will break off a small piece. Oh, I'm not interested in the small piece that breaks off. May I have one also, please? Sorry? May I have one also? Okay. Okay. Uh, so you generate the fancy nuclear file, and then the second part of reaction this handout is this reaction you've seen before. Okay, just the first part. If you would have if you have this, it's easy for this hydrogen to be abstracted by phase. This can do anything other than the can do. So, in the second step, this can attack the carbon and kick this out in two, two steps, not a single step. Uh, so, the final product you're going to get would be two acetones, this acetone and hydroxide, you get this, and then if you add this ester to it, the final product you get this is substitution to the substitution. Do we need to know the step or just be able to answer the just
So those are the reactions that are taking place in this outlandish compound here. Um, let's see. One, two, three. They kind of do it the way that they want to. Just get one carbon here, here, here. Step one. Second reaction here, you have two different materials reacting, but they can be connected, and so that's what they have in your example. They're connected, so they react in the itself. Uh, I probably would be honest. That's why if you can do the homework problems, then you won't have any trouble with the question, test questions. The test questions. So that's, that's what you're doing. And they drew it kind of that way. Just to give you a hint that this is probably going to connect this power over here to probably connect these curves over here. So that's what it kind of drew like that. It's a hint. All right. Uh, you got another one on that group? Yeah, I'm going to be able to Sure, what the heck? Okay. Um, G. G. First, that's a primary alcohol, right? And uh, primary alcohols undergo oxidation. You get a strong oxidizing like K even 